morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. <clears throat> Newsweek just reporting an hour ago, Pen Pentagon issues a dire warning to Israel over Gaza, and it has everything to do with the humanitarian crisis that's unfolding uh, in that uh, in the Gaza Strip. So the Pentagon has warned Israel that it faces strategic defeat if it fails to address the humanitarian crisis unfolding in the devastated Gaza Strip where intense fighting and significant civilian casualties continue after five months of war with Hamas, which is kind of an understatement if you ask me because <clears throat> I'm sitting here looking at this and, and you know, what, some 30,000 people have been killed already, more than 12,000 children have been killed, uh, not to mention the thousands that have been maimed, uh, amputees, I mean, it is, and then, of course, the starvation, no food, no nothing there. Uh, and, and yet, at the same time, uh, Biden continues to support Israel's war effort and give them all the weapons they need to keep right on with the slaughter. And, uh, you know, so the humanitarian aid idea, to me, is just a hypocrisy. It says, this week, the Pentagon State Department spokespeople both urged Israeli restraint through Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his emergency wartime coalition cabinet show no sign of abandoning their goal of er eradicating Hamas and reestablishing full military control over the Palestinian areas. There's people that are suffering and they need help, Pentagon spokesman Major General Pat Ryder told reports, reporters at a Tuesday briefing discussing the ongoing U.S. Co uh, operation to airdrop humanitarian aid into Gaza. You know, and that's just become like a turkey shoot, if you ask me. They drop the aid down there, wait for the people to run out, and then they shoot them. Uh, you know, and, and listen, uh, this guy right here, uh, his name is uh, Shea Golden. He is a Israeli, uh, was on Israeli t television recently. Uh, and this is what he had to say here. This really is the sentiment of the Netanyahu coalition. Uh, watch what he says here. And just read the subtitles. Uh, I'll let the Hebrew part of this play. Just read the subtitles. How many we are going to slaughter for every single one Israeli of the 1300 that you, which by the way, Netanyahu's administration allowed the brutal slaughter of Israelis. And in other words, what he's saying, too, is if you support the Palestinians, if you support their freedom, he'll, they'll slaughter you as well. And he's talking about the social media. This is how, I mean, where's the normalcy in this? Where's humanita humanitarian in this? And, and by the way, that, he doesn't speak for all Israelis by no means. But he does speak for that radical right-wing ideology extremist that is happening in Israel right now. Moving on also to, we have this uh, particular imagery here. Uh, this is uh, what is known as what they call, they're, they're saying that what they call the... Uh, Chinese rattlesnakes are working. Let me let me get the right verbiage on this here. It says here, a Chinese gang known as snakeheads, there we go, are working with Mexican cartels to smuggle illegals into the United States. Now, the guy that writes this, Colin Rugg, he says here, according to the Daily Mail, Chinese people are flying from China to Mexico and Central American cities and then meeting up with the smugglers to lead them into the United States. Former intel officers Todd uh, Benz... Uh, Benzman says that the Chinese migrants are very well coached by the uh, snakeheads and how exactly what to say U.S. officials. They so well coached and, and we would get the same story from all of them and not one variation, Benzman said. 
The Chinese have changed their tactics in Mexico. Previously, they specialized in drugs and money laundering. Now they specialize in human trafficking thanks to Biden. The Chinese just can't uh, go over there and cut out the Mexican cartels out. That just doesn't happen, he says. They're going to be paying the Mexican cartel some kind of percentage quota or, or tax, said the cartel expert Robert Alamante. Now, if those of you that recall, and, and this would be a good note here for uh, Colin Rugg here to know too, is that uh, when we were doing uh, some of our uh, exposure through Intel that we have here, United States there, one of the things that we had hit on was the fact that the Chinese had worked out a deal with the cartel in exposing all the politicians in the United States that were involved in the drug smuggling back in the 80s and 90s here in the United States, those that were getting kickbacks, things like that. They were paying them off. I shared that with you, oh gosh, a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago, and how that this was happening there. And, uh, and so, yes, they have bought off the politicians of this country because there were so many involved in the drug smuggling operations here. And now uh, they have worked with the cartel. They were paying the cartel massive amounts of money to be able to get the names of those politicians. And that's why the Biden administration, and, and oddly enough, this is as crazy as it's going to get. I can't tell you how many Democrats were involved because... I know, I know. I, I, I was working with the uh, government at the time, so I, I know I've, I've been in many of those politicians' offices, and not just limited Democrats either, Republicans as well. Yeah, believe me, it's both sides of the fence there. So the cartel and the Chinese, the Chinese were very resourceful in getting that information, and now they're getting their people into the country by the droves preparing for the takeover of this nation. Yeah. So that's what you got coming. You just don't even realize it. So, uh, so no wonder why we have that happening down there on the border there. Also over in New York, another very serious issue that's happening there. Uh, the governor, uh, or excuse me, I guess the mayor of the city, or maybe it was the governor of New York, uh, actually had a thousand National Guard military deployed uh, through the subway system there in New York uh, because of the violence uh, that, has been on, that has been ongoing in there. And I'm not even aware of exactly what all that is, but uh, we do see the National Guard in heavy force in the subways there of New York. Uh, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Check out our Patreon. We'll be doing a short little broadcast this morning on Patreon, but I'm doing an in-depth study on the Damascus document, specifically the Zedekite document that was discovered back in 1896, I believe it was. It's also uh, the, the, the one that was found originally, the Zedekite document and the Damascus document that is found in the Dead Sea Scrolls are pretty much one and the same. They've tried to make uh, one document out of the two different uh, fragments uh, that they have found there. Not, not a complete full compilation, but I know in one particular scholar there, uh, he really, he believes that the righteous teacher of the, uh, of the uh, community at Qumran may have very well been James, uh, James the Just, uh, one of the, very, the 12 apostles. And uh, so I, I thought that was kind of interesting when I listened to his take on that. He's a Jewish man, no doubt. Uh, and uh, so I, I'm going to be going into that. Uh, Eisman is his name, Robert. I, I, and I may be pronouncing his name wrong, but uh, be doing, be looking into that as well. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your support of this broadcast. And uh, the more you can support us online, the better. It, it is certainly helpful there. We appreciate those that come by mail as well, but you can click right there online and donate directly online, and that would be very helpful for us. If you're on, uh, if you happen to be on our iConnect FX uh, channel there, you can also donate that way, uh, because on iConnect FX we have a link always directly underneath our videos there, so um, it makes it easy, and that also goes to, to the same place, just like our website. They're all kind of uh, all kind of done in together there, but uh, so just just in the event that you happen to be listening there on iConnect, I'll just show you quickly where that is there because it would certainly be tremendously helpful uh, in any way. Right. Um, so 
and uh, that doesn't have a lot of views on that video, what the church missed, but that is a very good video if you haven't seen that already. God bless you. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.